welcome to the tiny trailer workshop. Well, it's taken me an hour to get this to a point of round. So, we're going to see what we can do from here. This is going to be a body. I don't know if that sounds, but that's what it's going to be. have here another piece of that same ornamental cedar and I have some marks on my my tool rest here two inch intervals so I'm going to try and make two about four two inch balls and we'll see we shall see really see if it doesn't demand here huh? Still flying out of there. Now, I'll do the same thing again on a smaller piece, but I still have my two inch marks here, so that's good. Let's uh, start with that.
it seems to me that this, uh, this should probably have elbows and knees. So I'm going to make four small joints out of a uh, scotch broom here. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we'll see what we can do from here. There's a lot of ideas tried in this project. Some of them worked and others, well, you just didn't see them. The basis for how he works is on the back of each hand and foot there is an eye screw. Through that eye screw there is a piece of cord that feeds through the rest of the arm or leg and into the body. When it comes up through the neck those cords are then tied onto a hook that's on the bottom of the head. So when you twist the head, the arms and legs tighten up. Gives you a pretty good range of motion and works quite well. For the eyes and nose, I drilled a shallow hole in the back of each one. Then I took a piece of 16 gauge copper wire and I put that through a pop can and, and then glued that pop can to the back of the, of the antler trimmed it around so you can't see it. 
I'm going to send another shout out to Carl Jacobson. He's uh, he's not only the inspiration for this project, he's the inspiration for so many others. And uh, and now I just wonder, can you imagine the size of bear that he could turn on that new lathe of his? Carl Jacobson at woodshop.tv The other one that I want to give a shout out to is Peter Brown. Peter's um, an artisan. Peter uh, does all kinds of different different things in his uh, his show. You just never know what to expect. Um, but definitely worth watching. Peter Brown at Shop Time. Now my little friend here has some issues to deal with. Uh, first and foremost, I guess, is that he came into existence without a name. Um, I don't have prizes for, for something like this, but uh, we were wondering if, if you had any suggestions as to what his name should be. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a put all the names that you guys suggest into a hat and next week we'll draw the draw the names and we'll find out what his name is sounds like a plan um, and while he has a heart of cedar he does have an alter ego that alter ego has been known to see him out on the town well, that night he had a, a run-in with a with an olive skewer, and he lost an eye. I fashioned him another one as best I could, but it's not the same. <sighs> At least he's not seeing double anymore. But he has promised to uh, to try and and contain himself these days. So, thanks for watching, and. Uh, don't forget, we'll be watching for names, and we'll hope to see you next time. Bye now. <laughs>